wanted to uh, promote my compilations, the Eminem mixes, uh, volume one and two, and to do some DJing around the country. We're going to be heading up to uh, Scotland and hopefully into Russia and a few other countries out throughout Europe. I tend to um, to like the smaller, intimate venues. You know, 400 people or less. It just seems uh, there's more of a connection with a smaller, intimate venue. For me, the big difference is the business part of it. Even though there's always been a business part of it, it just seems now all the clubs and um, all the venues are more interested in, in generating how much cash they can generate. So, you know, especially in the UK, most clubs are offshoots of a bar. You know, so the, the venue's business is primarily you know, liquor and the bar and the secondary is the music which they use to attract people to come in and have them drink. So as where before, you know, you have a club which is a club and the bar is just a way for the club to generate income. So it's, 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 a, little, it's a little different. I just thought back in the day it was more about the music than it was about the dollar. I told a guy the other day because we were discussing the differences between house music and I said, so I'll tell you right now, there is no money in house music. House music is not Beyonce, not Lady Gaga, Britney Spears. They, those are select few people and people that are above what we, it's another level. You know, I says, we're looking at the masses. You know, and granted, those people make a lot of money, but they've also spent a lot of time doing it, you know. So I don't fault them, you know, I don't say, well, you made $2 million, you know, you should give me, you know, $100,000 because I've never gotten paid for anything. You know, decisions that you make, you make yourself. You know, I mean, if I haven't made any money in this business because that's what I chose to do, then that is a decision that I made. But I don't want that decision to be taken out of my hands because someone else feels that they should get everything for free. I go out and I buy music. And I know everybody. Well, in radio, Ed, what radio Ed did is you notice that when they turn up and might last show, they said, pay whatever you feel it's worth. So many people downloaded it for free and didn't put anything, not even a right. dime. So radio said they will never, ever do that again. Now, no, no, not short money, so it's that principle. You, you know, like, like you said, like you said, the, the question is, would you work for free? When you get up at five in the morning, to get on the train, to go to your job on Friday, will you tell your boss, you don't have to pay me, I had a good time this week. And when your mortgage company or your landlord comes on the first of the month and says, I need 200 or 500 or 1,000 for the rent, how are you gonna pay for it? If you're giving everything for free, that, that is the part of it that people have a hard time understanding. They, they just think, oh, we'll just, you know, we'll just download it. And the guy said, well, I'll just find somewhere and download it. I said, well, then do that. I says, I hope, I says, on Friday when you get your check and if it's short, I want you to just walk out of your boss's office and say, don't worry about it. it. It just doesn't happen. So it should apply to everybody. If people want to earn a living, doing whatever they choose to do, then they should allow other people to operate likewise. You know, if I want to be able to continue to make great music and entertain people, then I'm going to have to be able to provide for myself and my family and have a place to live.